Hey guys, this is just how's everything going. In this video, I'm going to take a look at 162 Find Peak Enemy. A peak enemy is an enemy that is greater than its neighbors. We're giving an input, input array, nums, where uh, no adjacent numbers are equal. So there must be a peak because uh, we are asked that. Uh, the minus one and the next number will be minus negative uh, infinity. So there will, will be there are only these only case that there the no peak element is that all the numbers are same, but we uh, that's not possible. So there must be a peak. The array may contain multiple peaks. We can return any of them. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, one. Well, we could just loop through the elements and found and check if uh, it is greater than neighbors. But we are asked to solution must be logarithmic, 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 logarithmic complexity. Well, log. Then it should be something like binary search. Let's analyze the so, so the condition of this actually is the key point, right? Mm -hmm. Suppose if we're doing something like binary search, we choose the middle one, and what do we keep found? Well, we if we compare the number between its labors. Let's suppose there are two numbers, okay? The the one, one, there will be no peak numbers. This is minus infinity. The left one is infinity, right? So once the number like uh, go up, go bigger, like two, then there must be a uh, uh, peak element, right? Because once you go up, you must go down to infinity. So once there is an upper slope, like go up, then there must be a peak element to the right. If downward, then again, it means there will be a peak element to the left, right? So yeah, that's it. We could use binary search. Let start equals zero. Let n equals num start n plus one. Wow. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, let's say if start equals to n. If nums middle. A. If equal, if equal, then we compare the previous one. If it is equal, then we don't know, right? If ah ah, it's not equal. Okay, so that's that's good. Numbers middle plus one. Compare the next one. Suppose something like uh, one, two, three. Now we pick two in the middle. Now we have found the uh, upper slope. Go bigger. So the peak point, peak element must be to the right. One. There must be one to the right. Okay. So we start set to middle plus one. For the other case. Up to the end. So now we go to three, and three they are the other same. Finally, we get to a same element. Then it must be the peak element, right? Why? Because like any here, if this last element, yeah, it's peak. If not yet, like like there is a four, like two. Okay, so go up. Okay, now two, th three, two, right? 
now we choose the number is 3 go down so end will go to 2 right so it will end it will end the star begin and end we we'll start on oh, okay okay start begin and end means start is a possibility of uh, the picking element and is the possibility okay if we go up the end means the not possible not it's not a uh, pick element so for case here uh -huh. wait a minute Eto. Two. So we check three two against two, and three. This is downward. So, and okay, and they said to two. So now we got two three. Okay, start is it is. We got four. Uh, we got uh, three four, and then three four. So start four. Yeah, start is the element. So we return start. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, we accept it and uh, time as we are asked to, it's log in. We use binary search space constant. Okay, that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.